What up, you guys? It's your girl Zarisha J from Strong Arm Radio. I'm with J. Alice Zay. What's good? How you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. So let me know. Do you drink? Do I drink? Well, I mean, my last name Alize. So That's why I'm trying to figure out Alize. <laughs> what, what's the thing behind your artist name? Um. Okay. So my middle name mm -hmm. is Jane Art. So I just took J from that, and then my middle name is also Alize. Oh yeah. So, yeah. So so your parents called you. Oh yeah, they were party people. <laughs> oh my, yeah. My mom was a huge Tupac fan, so it was my first name was this close to Tupac. Seriously? She told you that she was just like, and they would want to be Tupac, me. Well, my dad told me that, you feel me? He told me that, you know, it was this close to being that, but he don't name me after him, so, you know. Oh, I yeah? just, But I just wrote out with Jay Alize initially. I'm the vision, but, you know, I just had to switch it up. <laughs> okay, so Alize has nothing to do with alcohol. It's just his middle name, guys, okay? So let's talk about the parents. Are you close to both your parents, mom and dad? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. yeah do they support you doing... Um, you know, following your dreams and becoming a whole artist out here. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Wow, wow. Yeah, wow. So how did you tell them the news? I know, like, even, like, you know, coming out of school or, you know, just growing up and your parents, like, obviously, like, you take care, they're like, okay, so what's next? What's new? Right. And you're like, mom, I want to be an artist. <laughs> well, how did that go over? Well, I mean... If I was a trace back, like they've been knowing, they've been knowing I wanted to do this since I was a little. Like mm -hmm. I've been doing like singing and dancing since I was like nine years old. Singing and oh yeah, yeah. I really see you have a you have a you have a um song called Lights, right? Bright lights. Bright yeah. lights. Mm -hmm. Bright lights. And you were actually dancing in the video, <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, this this guy knows how to mm -hmm. move. So it's like, so you did you take classes for dancing mm -hmm. or no. you just really knew? How, no. Sometimes that's really in your blood. Yeah, it is. My Seriously. dad is was a huge time dancer. Like my wow. dad. Like when he was my age, he would dance against Jermaine Dupri. Like wow. um, he would dance against um Two Life Crew. Like Two Life Crew actually had him dance for them for a, a couple Crazy. shows. So it's actually pretty cool. So it's in my blood, definitely. It's wow. in my blood. Do you have any other talents that we don't know about? Um, I'm a huge salesman. Can, so, oh, yeah. you can sell anything. I mean, I'm, I'm good at everything I do. Wow. You know? So as long as I know pretty much the the blueprint. Mm -hmm. I, I can figure it out. I can get it done. So how did you know that you, you, you're you good at selling things? <laughs> <laughs> well, it started off when I was selling, like, I was at this one job and they had me selling, like, cancer testing kits, you know? And, like, who wants to buy a cancer cancer testing kit? Yeah. Or actually even go in depth with, oh, my, my parents have this and that, you know? Yeah. So basically, you know, it was from that, like, talking to, like, elderly people, you know, understanding their problems and then just, I have really good customer service skills. Okay. So it was just that. And then now I'm, um, you know, doing more sales, salesmen of phones and stuff. Like, I sell phones now. So, wow. you know, definitely. That's great. So, so on top of, you know, pursuing your dream, you're also backing it up with another job. Oh, yeah. Funny. That's, that's funny. crazy. So, um, when did you start getting really serious about this artistry? When I was 13. 13. 13, I was like, I seen Justin Bieber come out. Oh. And I was sick. Like, I was like, no shot at Justin Bieber. Like, Justin Bieber, you the man. But like, I was a little envious because I was like, you know, I was a young boy, young boy out he's the same age as me, you yeah. know, and I'm just like, I, I don't feel like I'm better than him, but I yeah. feel like I was just as good, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, I, I was just mad at the, the point that I didn't have those same opportunities, you know, yeah. I was not, not mad at him, but it was like, yeah. dang, like, why, why can't that happen for me? But I know yeah. everyone has their, their own journey, come. you know, everyone has their own journey, so, yeah. you know. So speaking of journey, you okay, so you started at 13, how old are you now? I'm 22 now. You're 22. So 13 to 22, this is a long journey of just following your dreams, um, you know, learning good ways, bad ways, every, like, you know, just going through, like, the trial and error of, you know, becoming who you're supposed to be. Mm. What um, what have you learned so far in the pursuit? Um, Don't trust no one. Don't trust no one. That's the first one. That's the first step. Oh, my. First step. Don't Let me, I want to no hear a story about that. Why, why not to trust anyone? Cause even your closest friend, that you, the person that you can support the most highest, and like even when it seems like that person got nobody around them, yeah, you can be the person that ride for them, ride mm -hmm. for the people they care about, yeah. and then at the end of the day, they'll still be the person talking behind your back, and you know, and talking down on you. So that's why I say trust nobody, because it can be somebody that is, you know, your closest friend, your best friend, that you know can be the one that literally is jealous of you or envious of you or want to stop your growth. You know, so I would say don't trust nobody. So what's number two? So number two, um, after don't trust nobody, believe in yourself. Yes. Believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, like we're going, 
like how you expect to even make an impact in the game or Seriously. like even make an impact into somebody else's life if you don't believe in what you're trying to do for your life you know no. so i would say believe in yourself you know um and you'll go far you'll achieve anything that's why i can say i can do anything i can i i put my mind to because i believe in myself you know yeah that's why you can come on the radio station every day and just mm, 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 yeah, do your little yeah. thing on ig yeah because you believe in yourself mm -hmm. you know so if you don't believe in yourself then you know who, who your biggest fan you know so. seriously i feel like confidence is everything especially like you know how you how, how are you gonna present um present something to the world and try to convince everybody that you're this person but you don't believe yourself Morning. so i understand that confidence is definitely a big 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 key so what's number three um number three um keep your environment positive mm -hmm. Keep your environment positive because every if you believe in energy, if you believe in you know spiritual, whatever you believe in, I just believe in positivity. And you know, if you have negativity in your life, someone brings negative energy around your way, you know, it's going to be, it's gonna it's gonna come on to you. It's yeah. going to you. Some things are gonna happen to you where you're not gonna want that to happen, or you know, you wasn't expecting it to happen. You know, I just feel like you know, keep your environment positive. Keep your keep your environment positive because. It'll be, you know, up, you know, sky's the limit. How can I say? That's one thing I say. Sky's the limit, definitely. So, are you performing? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been doing this since I was nine years old. I just said performing. That, you know. I mean, yeah, I've been singing and dancing. I've been doing talent shows since I was like nine years old. You had any bad experience coming like earlier? I mean, not really, because I mean, I wasn't performing in front of my. It started in front of my family first. Okay. So that's when I really picked up the spark and the confidence. Co yeah. You know, the and then that's when it, met, it it moved in front of the crowd. Mm -hmm. And then once I got comfortable with being in a, and and this is my thing, I don't have stage fright. Yeah. Like one thing about me, I get butterflies. Mm -hmm. But like, as soon as I'm on the stage and I hear that music hit, like I'm just like, bro, you can't. It's your time. Like yeah. <laughs> it's you. It's like. I just click into a mode where I put on a show, and then after that, I'm happy. Like after that, I'm just like I can go again. I can keep going, you know. So. So you never had any bad experience from it. For me, it's like you're happy. For this one. Yeah, I mean, I say, I would say the only bad experience is like if you don't win like a talent show, you know. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, you know, other than that, talent, like, you know, just like performing, there's no problem. And what was your best experience performing? I love the, the the excitement from the crowd, like when everybody's like, hey, hey, yeah, like yeah. hyping you up from the dancing and then the singing and then when they were normally, rocking with it, mm -hmm, when they're rocking with it, and then it's best to see like when people didn't think you was actually gonna do something like that, you mm -hmm. know, when you get like a huge pop because they just like, whoa, like this, I was not expecting like this from someone, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I like that pop from the crowd. Wow, definitely, wow, definitely. that's awesome, definitely awesome. So you have something. In this, well, it's you know, it's in the streets, it's been in the streets for a minute now. Mm -hmm. And um, you have a song called Bright Lights, yes, ma'am. So, tell me, how did that song come about? Um, Bright Lights was literally made like on the spot. Wow, like okay. my producer, um, shout out to Hamaika, by the way. Some people call him Jamaica, that's all I'm rocking in the rest of you know, <laughs> you know, that's my personal producer, yeah. you know, we working on developing the sound. Mm -hmm. Um, and he made a beat, the beat was like really nice he wasn't even um, um he wasn't even halfway done with the beat and i was already like writing to it yeah and so the point where i was just like bro like let me record it like mm -hmm. bro i got a song right here let's let's do it like literally bright lights was created in like 45 minutes wow wow like literally like m mixed everything like 45 that was minutes. on it yeah mixed too like when he's creating the beat like i'm already like in a zone like yeah, yeah. i'm already in a, in a time where where my head is like bro like everything you make gotta be big gotta be a hit are you a so, writer oh yeah i write everything so so okay so you're a writer and you do the um the song references where you're like you know you probably mumble a little bit over the beat or you just know what you want to say you just write it out oh, oh no I, I i write my songs out wow first. i write it out first um and first it started off where i had to practice it like yeah. of course so i can practice my flow my delivery yeah, yeah. but now it's just like i got that like wow. i already have my style now so writing it is like talking like, it, it, like as soon as i write it i can just spit it and then go up to the mic and just and just deliver you know what were you feeling when you were making this song like, like what was your intention who were you talking to um i was talking to just like pretty much the game yeah you know i'm just this song pretty much is like the epiphany of like any artist that is 
what they're going through right now. There's one reason why you're you want the the to be an artist is because you're fascinated one by the bright lights. You're fascinated by the cameras, the the shows, award shows, you know, the music, the clothes, the clothing, everything like that. So you're fascinated. Everything by about being an artist mm -hmm. is like yes, I want to. All of this. Mm -hmm. And then inside, when you listen to the verse, yeah, my yeah. verse is just pretty much going deeper into like, you know, deeper into what happens. Like mm -hmm. you're gonna come across people that rub you the wrong way. You're gonna come across people that was talking, you know, bad about you before, and now they want to be on your team. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you just gotta believe in you. You know, mm -hmm. and Definitely. and I'm from, you know, now I'm from, from from you know Florida, so I'm representing 100. percent You know, all the way. Wow. So speaking of Florida, you have, have you ever been outside of the state? Outside of the state? When I was younger. When I was little, um, I don't remember it. I used to live in California. Mm. Um, but, you know, I've been here my whole life. Like, I would say this is where I've been. Like, I rarely travel. <laughs> really. Mm -hmm. You know. But that's only because, like, I just feel like, you know, you got to stay put sometimes. Yeah, you gotta course. stay put because I feel like if you're in a in a somewhere where you're not supposed to be, bad things can happen. You know, so I really just don't. I don't get up and just go anywhere just to go. Like I got it. It's gotta be a reason. Be a reason to go. Yeah, exactly. Solid reason to mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Wow.